What's up guys, Wilson here with our latest project and it is this car behind me, a brand new Ferrari SF90 and the color on here is Rosso Fiorano. Now this owner is a longtime customer of ours and a avid Ferrari collector and when he purchased this car brand new, the dealership had paint protection film pre-installed on the car as part of a package deal. Now, the paint protection film installation is really subpar and um, from where you are right now, it's about seven feet or so. Everything looks good, but it only takes a few steps closer that you will notice the many, many flaws on this film installation. So uh, what the owner is having us do is replace the film and install it with ClearGuard Alpha, all custom installed. But before we get to that, let's actually run through some of the details of the pre-existing film to show you why the owner is unhappy with it. So let's come take a closer look. First off on this hood, is it is a multi-piece installation with a joining seam that starts over here and follows all the way to the top of this hood. And as you can see, there's already dirt buildup. And when this is in the sun, the light refraction on that seam really detracts from the overall look of the car. On the fenders, you get to see some of the more minute details that can make or break a PPF installation, like this area over here on this corner. You see how the edge is already flapping and there is sort of this pre-cut notch that comes around these corners which are pretty typical of what pre-cut patterns look like. Around this Ferrari badge on the side of the fender, you see where the edges are. It's sitting on the outside and the dirt collection on there creates a little darker seam that is a lot more obvious. From there, let's actually take a look at this bottom side of the fender as well. You can see the film art right over here is lifting, collecting dirt, and because there is uh, missing filmed areas, the paint is already getting peppered over here. Now, onto the mirror. The mirror is a multi-piece installation with a gap over here. And the worst part isn't really having a seam, it's that this seam over here is a few millimeters apart, which allows for uh, debris to hit it and just pepper the paint up just on this particular area. Now on the door right next to the mirror, you see what is typical of a pre-cut template on these. There's a joining seam that starts over here and it comes all the way out. Now, when you have a seam like that, it allows for dirt collection as always. And again, just like the hood, when the light hits it at the right angle, you get a glowing line, which doesn't look very good overall. Uh, next, let's look at some of the edge wrap details and just in general, what this uh, area on the door, especially this door handle and the rear quarter panel looks like. You can see how the film on this area is already lifting and again, dirt collection. These edges were not properly sealed, which reveals where the paint protection film are. And on this upper area where, again, on corners, this is pretty typical of what pre-cut templates look like. There's usually this little notch over here with exposed paint. Onto the rear quarter panel, you get a multi-piece installation where there's a joining seam right over here and a joining seam that comes over here all the way up and cuts across. And uh, albeit it's giving it uh, good protection, when you have a car like this, you really want the overall aesthetics to not be disturbed by having paint protection film on here. So that was a quick look at what's pre-existing. Next, we're gonna move this car inside remove all of the film and do our custom installed ClearGuard Alpha PPF installation. And at the very end, I'll show you the re final result and also what was on here before versus what is ultimately on the car when we're done with this. So check this out.
Alright guys, this project is finally completed and we have most of the paint protection film that was previously on this car removed and installed ClearGuard Alpha, the best hydrophobicity, clarity and uh, gloss paint protection film in this industry with our custom installation so that it is as seamless as possible. So what I want to do now is actually take you on a closer look and show you the difference of what is on here now versus what was on here prior. So let's start with the hood. As you may recall what I showed you before on this hood, it was a multi-piece installation with a joining seam that followed this body line on the hood all the way up to the top area right over here. Right now, this is a one-piece installation without that seam uh, and definitely looks a lot better because uh, you don't have the light refraction that normally happens when you have seams like that and also you don't have dirt build up along that area. There's no seam for it to build up uh, whatsoever. Next to the hood on the front fenders, prior there were a lot of lifting areas on the edges and on the front corner areas over here. Right now, all of those areas are properly wrapped, including the corners, edges, and this side badge area where the seam was previously sitting on the outside, allowing there to build up and uh, showing up uh, really noticeably uh, over time. Now, next to the fender on the doors, Unlike the hood where there was a body line that you could sort of hide that seam, right over here, the seam was sitting out in the middle of nowhere. And when the sun hit it at the right angle, you get a light refraction and it just didn't look very good. Right now, this area has no seam. This door is a one piece installation so that it is as seamless as possible. Same thing for the mirror area where previously there was a seam that followed this body line and joined together from top and bottom where there was also a sizable gap on the front leading edge area. Right now, this is uh, a one-piece installation, no more gap over there, so that uh, unlike previously where that gap will allow debris to hit it and just totally pepper up the paint, right now you will not have that issue. Now, as we make our way to the back side of this car, the rear quarter panels, the edges, corners, this inside area where there were joining seams and also on the door handle area, there were lifting issues prior. Right now, all of that is solved with uh, one piece installation and it is truly as seamless as it can get for this SF90. Now, as I mentioned, ClearGuard Alpha is the best gloss, best clarity, and best hydrophobicity paint protection film in the industry. And the final results really shows that off by giving it the best gloss uh, possible for this color, allowing the paint to really show through. So uh, I know the owner was uh, quite unhappy with the previous installation, and uh, I'm sure he's going to be very satisfied with what is on here right now. And uh, guys, I just want to thank you for watching another one of our videos. And until our next one, please stay tuned and I'll see you later.